Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority is examining fissures beneath the Tsuruga nuclear power plant on the Sea of Japan coast. Officials want to determine whether the facility is vulnerable to earthquakes. NRA official Kunihiko Shimazaki and four scientists are visiting the nuclear facility over the weekend. They have so far confirmed that an active fault runs beneath the Tsuruga nuclear compound, about 250 meters from the number one and two reactors. The fault is believed to have last moved around 4,000 years ago. Officials are studying the relationship between the active fault and a fissure directly under the number two reactor. My impression is that the fault under the plant is very active. It is unusual for a nuclear plant to have such a fault running directly underneath it. National guidelines prohibit the operation of a nuclear facility located near an active fault line. If it is determined that the fissure under the reactor could move with the active fault, the nuclear plant will, be not, uh, will not be allowed to restart. It would then have to be decommissioned. The Japanese government toughened safety standards following last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi. All of Japan's operating commercial reactors went offline for safety inspections after the March 2011 disaster. Then, last July, the Prime Minister approved the restart of two reactors at the Oi plant in Fukui Prefecture. However, the possible presence of an active fault beneath the Oi plant has raised safety concerns about operating the two reactors.